Hey everyone, back with another Photoshop tutorial. This was a request on one of my recent videos, so I figure I would put together a quick tutorial. Uh, the question was, how do you lower cars in Photoshop? So I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly. I like to use the pen tool for this, just as more accurate. And essentially what we're gonna do is we are going to cut out the top part of the car around the wheels, uh, around this body line, around the back wheel, and then come straight up, make a copy of that and then lower that down on the car. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So you just start clicking along with the pen tool. Uh, it's helpful to zoom in a little bit. Um, we are gonna select right around the bottom of the car. And the pen tool just works by, you click, click the next one. And then when you get to curves, you click and drag and then that's how you make the curves. So we're just gonna go pretty accurately along this body line all the way up. And we'll just keep going all around the car. Okay, so now that we've got to the end of the car here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do that same thing that we did over here. We're just gonna pull a line straight out and then we're gonna go up and select around the frame. So now what you wanna do is you wanna just click in here and then click make selection. And then we'll just feather it by one pixel, that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to hit command J and that's gonna put that selection on its own layer. So if you look and see what we did, this is what we just cut out and then underneath it is the wheels. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our move tool, which is shortcut V, and then we're just gonna arrow down that top layer until we get it lowered to where we like it. And you can see, because we selected along that line, we don't have to worry about cloning any of that stuff out. All of that's good. And we're all good. The only thing that you get, because the wheel was turned a little bit, like it doesn't necessarily make sense to go that far, and it's gonna be a little bit weird. Um, the other thing that you get is where you cut out the body here. So to get rid of that, what you can do is you can make a, lay a blank layer. So you get a paintbrush tool, and you just come underneath that layer, and you just paint ever so slightly right in there to just kind of hide that shadow. And like I said, because the wheel was turned a little bit, it's a little bit funny there. So what we might have to do is go in here and get the brush tool. And we may have to paint some of this fender off just to make it look like that tire's in front of it. So we'll come in here and then we'll come back and just paint that back on. Um, the other thing that you get is you get a little bit of this where that, um, where the splitter underneath is, so you need to look for areas like that. And if you get that, what you can do is you can go to that blank layer that we were on and you can grab the clone stamp tool and you can come in here and just ever so slightly get rid of that and just clone some tire back on there. And then you can see that we also got some over here where that splitter was on the wall. So you can do the same thing. Just paint some of that out just so it goes away. But just like that, quick and easy. Actually, here, let's make, let's put those in a group so you can see before and after. And now, if you don't have a perfect line like we had with this parking garage, what you can do is just use the same technique, pull it straight across, and then just um, use a soft brush and blend it back. 
So hopefully you like this tutorial. If you have any suggestions for future ones, please leave them in the comment below. Otherwise, until next time, see ya.